In this video we will show troubleshooting steps that will work for a plasma TV, LCD TV, and LED TV. The troubleshooting in this video will apply to a TV that will not power on. So if your TV will not turn on, either with the remote or by pushing the power button on it, try these troubleshooting steps. In these troubleshooting steps, we will use a multimeter to check for certain voltages. In order to continue troubleshooting, be sure you have the proper training, experience, skills, and equipment necessary to use a multimeter to check voltages in a TV. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Here we have an LED TV that will not turn on. The first thing that I can do is to check and see if there's a standby light in the front of the TV. Some TVs have the ability to show a standby light, while others do not. If I do see a standby light in the front of the TV, that shows that I do have some power going to the TV, but it will just not turn on. We will continue troubleshooting. I have removed the back cover off the TV and I will use my meter to check the standby voltage on the power supply. First identify the power supply in your TV, then look for a cable that runs from the power supply to the main board. Then you can look to see if the board has a legend on it showing which pins show what voltages. You will want to look for the one that shows the 5 volt standby. All boards are different, some will have a legend, some will not. Some will have the pin labeled, some won't. If your board does show what pin has 5 volt standby, then check that pin. If it does not show what one is the 5 volt standby, then you will want to check all of the pins on the cable one at a time and look for one of them to show as 5 volts. As you can see, both pins 1 and 2 show our 5 volt standby. I will check pin 1. Be sure your TV is plugged in. After you check the pins, if you do have 5 volts standby, but your TV is not powering on, then I recommend replacing the main board. If you do not have 5 volts standby, then you are not getting power from the power supply board. Assuming your outlet works and the TV is plugged in correctly, I recommend replacing the power supply board. A quick recap of our first step for troubleshooting the symptom of if your TV will not power on. If you check the 5 volt standby on the power supply and your meter shows 5 volts, then your power supply is working but the main board is not turning on the TV. So I recommend replacing the main board. If you check for the 5 volt standby and you do not receive 5 volts on your meter, then your TV is not receiving power and I recommend replacing the power supply. This testing is a great place to start for troubleshooting these symptoms. In some rare cases, if you do have standby and your TV will not power on, the problem could also be a component on the power supply board. However, to start troubleshooting, it is recommended to replace the main board first. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, Simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.